Hello and welcome, I am Chuck at Estus and today we are about to do some testing on an Amazon Boazone to be more preci precise um, I have made quite a few ring worlds Ice, Rat, Phoenix, Brand, Fate We also have Windforce, Buriza and Hellrack to test um, I have a few a few green charms we are using Valkyrie's wing. Um, I I locked out and had three circuits on my corruption, so we put three uh, 15 increased attack speed jewels. Um, we have service enchants for the enchants damage, vitality, and a lot of other stats. Chain of honors for the resistances, damage to demons, undead, and all skills. Um, crafted gloves. It's not the best, but it works. 2 to bow skills, 20 increase attack speed, some life leech, some life, crushing blow, nothing spectacular. Um, we have a, a raw ring, dual leech, a razor tail for the peers, dex and max damage, a raven frost for the cannot be frozen, obviously, and go rider for the deadly strike and crushing blow. Um, first of all, uh, I already did a lot of testing with this build. Um, either you go into the elements or into the physical damage tree. It doesn't matter. Um, it all comes up in the end to be the same builds, which is overshadowing the other ones. So it's a bit sad, but we will work with that. So we will start with, I guess, ice and Phoenix. Phoenix reduce fire damage, ice increase cold and reduce cold damage. So we are going to test both of them. And we will start with ice. Just clicking some skill points real fast. Alright, so we have about um, Freezing Arrow 2.5k damage, Ice Arrow 9.7k damage, and Cold Arrow 9.8k damage. It's a lot, it's a lot of damage. Um, obviously, you can run a lot of, uh, of areas with this. Did I mix that up? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's go. Um, f with this, we freeze packs. This is to clear uh, high density, and this is a single target. Cold immunes, that's a great start. So as you can see in Act 1, you can clear the pits fairly easily. It's not a very big challenge area anyway. Monster have low resistances. Yeah, this build, it's great. It does a lot of damage, but as soon as you run into a cold immune, it turns to shit. It's it's useless. So if you want to farm areas with a lot of cold immunity, well, don't do it, obviously. We could be using um, an Act 2 Merge with Infinity to reduce um, 
the lightning, uh, the, the the cold resistances. But even after trying it a lot, um, it it didn't work as well as I expected it to be. First of all, it doesn't break most Im immunities, but it works. It's not too bad. Just keep uh, yourself out of areas with a lot of cold immunes, and you will be fine. Then for the fire build. This one, sadly, um, I, I feel like it's very, very underwhelming compared to the cold one. The damage is just isn't there. Explosion deals almost 3k, 5 arrow almost 4, and Immolation deals 3000 explosion damage and 700 damage per second. The problem with fire is that there are way 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 too many fire immunes in this game and that makes the, that makes the builds really hard to play like we deal no damage um, I'm not a pro for the Amazon I haven't played a lot of, uh, of, of this build any bow build in general, I didn't play much of them. So obviously uh, my, my build isn't the best setup for this. But still the point get, the gets across. Um, fire remains are a big problem. So my I, I think you could go uh, into bow trees. Um, let's say we use magic arrow for the synergies. Um, cold and fire, alright. So if we split into both trees, it it can be not too bad. I guess both do about cold 6k and fire 4.3k. So we could split the damage here. You could swap bows and just kill the immune with the other bow. But it's just it's just not as efficient. It's what I think. So for now we will swap to a rack which boosts the fire damage quite a lot so we'll see what this does
All right. So explosion arrow almost 4k. Immolation almost 4k as well. And fire arrow 4k. Okay. So as you can see, Iraq is shit. It it's very much not worth your time. Don't waste your time with this. Don't buy it, don't use it. The attack speed is too slow. That most of the time that's what happened with crossbows. The attack speed just isn't there to cover for what everything else as a bow can do. So sadly that's the end of this one. So we did Ice, we did Phoenix. We have Fate and Brand. These are much better in the physical build. So on multiple shot, uh, we deal about 2.6k damage. It's not bad. Um, we have obviously fanatics, but um, we also have a beast on the merc, which I, I think personally that fate is a better weapon for your your rogue if you want to play that way. I don't. I see no reason to play this on your main build when you have a wind force playing around. You know. It just the damage just isn't there. Like you do, you do, you do most twice the damage with fine force. It's just not good enough. But as you can see, it still it still clears. The speed is there. We attack quite fast. But the damage is a bit lacking. We also have Brand. Brand, I believe, is better with um, Strafe. So we will respect into that. What am I doing? Oh, whatever. It's fine, no worry. We did about 3.6k damage. I was wondering where was my damage. I guess we found it. That should be much better. Yeah, it definitely is.
All right, uh, I think Brand is a fun build. It's different, but still the problem is still the same. Um, the damage just isn't there when you compare it to the other bows. That's just the sadness of bow zones. And the rat, rat is um, another one. First of all, it doesn't give any increased damage. Um, 375 percent to demons, and 100 to uh, sorry, 255 to undeads. Although it gives amplify damage, um, I, I, this is not a good bow. It's it needs it will need some kind of increased damage on top of that. But it's still not bad, I'd, I'd say. It's still not a bad bow. We deal 1.6 damage and we cast Amplify damage. So I guess it's on par with Bren. Yeah, it should be on par with Bren. Maybe a bit less. But as I was saying, that's a problem. Why waste all those runes when you can just go and... Just deal over twice that damage. 5k with Windforce and 6.4 with Biriza. But then again, Windforce is broken. It's way too strong. Uh, they, I, it's maybe not too strong, but every other bow needs to have a damage bump, in my opinion. That's the way it is. It's just a bit weak. First of all, Buriza. We have 5.2k damage. Wait, something broken? Oh, I see. All right, all right. The damage is applied to the... So when you have this... This clear speed is just... And Biriza. I mean, why use Biriza when Windforce deals attacks twice as fast? It just doesn't make any sense. Even though it's not a bad Brisa. Um it rolled very low damage, that's why I put three homes in it. But still, as you can see, the damage is very close. Even the wind force is pretty low. And I rolled the uh, shit corruption. Even though we deal a uh, uh, a thousand damage over wind force, it's just not good enough. So as you can see, um, the build is very strong, 
even though I, I should be having a lot more damage. Uh, my wind force is shit, the corruption should be much better than this. Uh, and my build setup isn't the best either. I should be using a lot of small charm and large charm and grand charms with maximum damage, increased attack rating and life. Because my life is really low right now. But this is about it. Those are the the options you have. There are a few bows better than others. I'd say Bren. Bren is fun. Phoenix wasn't bad. Fate, wa fate wasn't bad. But in the end, it all comes down to Wind Force. So either they should buff a bit of the other bows. And I don't know what to do with the, with the crossbows, to be honest. I think they should either make them much stronger. So at least the, the difference in speed doesn't matter as much. But I'm not sure. I don't want the things to be broken either. So. Alright, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestion, feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye-bye.